Casey I've known for 43 years and you know he's he's evolved into one of the best actors on the planet and he's an amazing writer and he's a very very just an extremely talented guy and I read the script that he wrote with Chuck and I thought it was so good and we got in touch with Doug and it was a chance to reunite with him and I think one of the best parts about working with people you know that well is that the love and trust and respect is just a given and it allows you to problem solve a lot quicker. You don't have to waste any time on diplomacy. <laughs> if you don't like somebody's idea, you just come out and say it and it's kind of you get to an answer a lot quicker. And like we've developed a whole vocabulary in this business about how to tread around people's egos and if you just abandon your ego at the door and just go and you know that all of that stuff is is kind of beyond reproach. It, it's not on the table. It's just about the problem in front of us and you just attack it together. You get to a solution a lot quicker and, and that's why it's really fun. We're, we're pretty blunt with each other, creatively speaking, um, but we, we know that there's a deep love and abiding respect that underlies all of that. There's a lot of writing and rewriting and pre-production and a lot of discussion around the dynamic between the two characters and what the best way was to kind of approach that and so that was really the preparation was a little more analytical on this one I mean in terms of the nuts and bolts of it it's a guy from Boston you know that's where I grew up he's somebody I know very well uh, he's a blue-collar guy in a very desperate situation and so a lot of that was is kind of baked into my life experience and so uh, but in terms of you know most of the prep time was spent just lining everything up from a producerial standpoint and making sure we had the exact right story we wanted to tell when we shot it. Doug always, like even on The Born Identity, uh, he always leads with the character and the plot follows the character and that's the same with the action. So rather than the movie stopping to just show pretty explosions or car crashes or something like that, it's always about how are the characters developing inside the action. And so he's more concerned with the conversation inside the car than the car crashes that are happening all around it. Those are, you know, th th those are just a piece of what you're, of, you know, of what you're seeing. What, you, what you're really focusing on is the character development inside the car. And he does that in all of his movies. It's just a philosophical approach to action, and it's why the action in his movies always works. We have the greatest stunt guys in the world and the best second unit director in the world and an amazing team. And so, no, I, I, I pump those guys up. <laughs> Let them go. Like, like they really are amazing. They make everything better and they make our work better and, and it's really a combination of first and second unit that make these things work. I just think the chance to go to work every day and look over and see Casey and somebody that I love so much and, and, and respect so much and you know this is something that was his and he you know he and Chuck wrote this thing and, and I, I know he's gonna if it's successful he'll wear the success and he'll deserve it all so. The only person I had worked with on this movie before was Matt, um, but you know he's one of the best actors working. He's uh, known him for 40 years. I love him to death. Uh, it was nothing but um, but a pleasure. I got to tell you, standing on that set every day, you know I've been in this for acting for 38 years, and uh, but when I was there in Boston, um, working with Doug Lyman, with Matt, doing what I love to do in the city that I love. It's a little different when you uh, write it because it's just in your head, you know, so you don't have to sort of bring yourself to the preparation the same way. Um, you know, I feel like I knew this character and I, all I had to do really was make sure that Matt was going to be any good, you know. You know, having done The Born Identity, The Edge of Tomorrow, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Go, uh, it's just so many movies where he's had to juggle um, action and comedy and character. I think it's, for him, it's really just about trying to find new ways to do it, to improve on it. But he's never, I don't think, worried that uh, he doesn't know how to do it. Uh, he made it look like effortless almost, um, and it's, it's hard to do. So he's one of the best, and we're lucky to have him. A lot of the action was done, I have to say, by stuntmen. Um, and then we, you know, they crash the cars up and drive around the city and drive them off roofs and stuff. And then we get into a car that's stationary, and it's surrounded by a green screen, and Doug makes it all look like it's, you know, uh, it's seamless and happening for real. So we did a lot of sitting in cars and just being like thrown, going left, right, <laughs> look left, look right, 
and then it worked. I worked with Matt on downsizing back in 2016 or 17, so it's been a few years, but not as long as it took for Matt and Doug to be reunited, which was 20 years in between uh, the Born Identity and, and now the Instigators, so I feel really lucky and fortunate. It's really hard to ask people if I can sit in on their therapy sessions. Uh, and I've never been to therapy myself, so I had to use my imagination a little bit and also just tried to play the scenes truthfully for what they were. I remember the first conversation I had with Doug. He said that he wanted the movie to be character-driven and not action-driven, and so he, he stayed true to that. I've never felt uh, burdened by any of the action sequences in terms of that it would affect anything that we were doing character-wise. He really wanted us to just focus on what our characters would do and what the dynamic and the relationships were. It's magical to, to go back to work with Matt. You know, it was a little scary, you know, right at the beginning because well, last time we worked together, Born Identity launched a you know, billion dollar franchise, so you're like, and a great friendship, a lifelong friendship. There's a lot on the line. We could mess up the friendship, we could mess up, you know, you know, maybe it's sort of terrifying, so it was so amazing. Right from day one of working together, it was like we were back 20 years ago making Born Identity, like like no time had passed. And uh, and the thing is, you know, we Matt and I really made Born Identity like an independent movie. It was a studio, but at the end of the day, we're in France, it was like an eight hour time difference to LA, so like, we just were like on our own making the movie and making decisions for ourselves and and here we are all these years later basically doing the same thing with instigators because now Matt is the studio. There's no time difference really anymore to work with but so it really was, a, it was so fantastic and then getting to meet Casey you know was like what a, what a, dis, what a discovery for me as, as a director. I mean I'm just I'm in love with all of the choices he makes as an actor and, and how much he gives to the to, to the directors he works with, or at least that he gave to me. It's terrifying, you know, having, you know, basically redefined car chases with Born Identity. Matt and I are now doing another car chase. You know, how do we live up to what we did before? But what I love about the Instigator script is that we had this really unbelievable dynamic in the car during the chase because. Matt's got suicidal tendencies, Casey Affleck's discovering that, their therapist Hong Chow is in the car trying to coax Matt into slowing down, Casey doesn't want her to slow him down, so what, what was available to me in Instigators that say I didn't have on Born Identity was a chance to do an incredibly exciting car chase and then do the interior, what's happening inside the car actually be more exciting than what was happening outside the car. Occupied. Okay. Uh, it, it happens during the uh, at one of the more tense moments in the movie when, when there was something Matt improvised and you know people Matt's playing the straight guy and in instigators to Casey Affleck's sort of more flashy character but the reality is that Matt Damon's a phenomenal comedian he's really funny and so that moment for instance is something he improvised but uh, I, I really think instigators you know it was like Matt and I wanted to make a comedy together because he's really funny. There was a moment where Matt said something to me, you know, in between takes, and it's a technical thing, but I looked at him and I said, oh my God, and there he is, Matt, right over there. He, he's grown so much since we worked together 20 years ago, because you don't really know, maybe we're, we stay the same. I was like, he has really matured as a human being, as an actor, as somebody who can support the directors he works with, and I was just looked at him and I was like, wow, he, he's just grown so much in those 20 years. And then I was thinking to myself, well, maybe he's thinking that about me. Because you don't really know. You're in your own body. You don't know if you've grown. And so I sort of hung on to that for the rest of Instigators as like thinking maybe that I have matured in those 20 years. I think I'm more laid back than him. So it was a nice reach. You know, the first movie I did, I felt like I was kind of playing me. This is like the first time I've played a character for real, so kind of in awe, taking notes and absorbing, trying to stay humble and see what I can learn. It's hard to do, so there's a reason they're who they are, you know?